makes a way where there is no way. God likes difficult situations. It's as if he waits for situations to be difficult. So that when he finishes it, nobody can take the glory. You know, there are people that will allow you to do all the work, then they'll come and claim the praise. Some offices are like that. Assistant will do all the work, or God take all the credit. You see now? I told you. But God is going to turn it around today. Amen. Favor is going to announce you with your potential. Amen. God came to Abraham in Genesis 18. From verse 10. He said, I will return unto Sarah according to the time of life. And Sarah shall conceive a child. Sarah said, now? Now. <laughs> now. Do you know since when we have been praying this prayer? He said, now that I'm old. Shall, shall, shall move forward. When I'm quoting scripture, move sharp. Now Abraham was old and well stricken in age. And he has ceased to be with Sarah after the man of women. That is where people should say, forget it. But calm down. God makes a way where there seems to be. Pushes things aside. To make a way. Yes. Have you ever heard that a mountain moved? But your God overturns mountains. I don't want to scatter it. I would have just overturned the whole thing. That's how your God does it. He doesn't say I'm coming. Is there space? He creates space. I prophesy. By thunder, by fire. God will make a way for you. Hey! God will make a way for you. God will make a way for your children. God will make a way for your marriage. God will make a way for your job. In the name of Jesus. So I will serve this God though for life. I will follow this God. 